question if you could update any biome next in minecraft what would it be let me know in the comments section also follow me on twitter at echo egg soldier welcome back everyone to a brand new beta and preview for minecraft pocket edition the bedrock version this is the version 1.19.60.23 today campfires have been nerfed the reason why my background looks like the regular minecraft preview and you could also see all this text up here is because maybe it's just for me but if i go to global resources tap on this it's fine tap on this it's fine but if i tap on this yeah the game crashes interestingly enough for the past few weeks minecraft ios preview hasn't been working so today the developers commented saying note this week's preview version is not available on ios we apologize for the inconvenience and are working to resolve this issue they then updated the article and said, update. We are now unblocked and hoping to release the preview on iOS as well. So from my understanding, Minecraft and Mojang and Microsoft have been banned for the past three weeks by Apple and iOS. So they couldn't post the betas and previews on that platform. That's a really weird one. Experimental features, starting with gameplay. Chiseled bookshelf no longer triggers observer blocks on world load. So this Kirby looking chiseled bookshelf was causing problems for this. Moving on to features and bug fixes. Respawn anchor no longer retains its charge if mined with silk touch or picked. We got a bug report this has been a reported issue for a very long time dating back to october of 2021 the respawn anchor if you had yourself a silk touch pick and you fully charged this like this and then you mined it which by the way i forgot how long this takes to mine it'll be christmas by the time i pick this up but once this is done and it drops on the floor previously if you placed it back down it would be at full charge. They have finally fixed it today. It says scaffolding now displays particles and produces vibrations when the block under it is destroyed. We have a bug report. Scaffolding still does not produce breaking particles when broken. Been an issue for a few versions here. There's a video here. I mean, I see like a few particles there, but apparently it was fixed. So if we break this... I mean, there is particles, but hey, honestly, I'll be honest with you. I didn't notice too much of a difference. The Skulk Shrieker Blocks Shriek Sound can now be heard at the longer distance of 32 blocks. We have a bug report. Here is the bug report, and we do have a video. So this user right here has figured out that if you do activate a Skulk Sensor and it triggers a Skulk Shrieker over 16 blocks away, it doesn't make the sounds at all. So you can see there, it does make the sound. But if this person goes to 16 blocks away, you'll see the sensor is activated, but there is no sound. So let's run this exact same test here. So we'll put this here, that there. As you can see, particle effects, sound effects. I have decided to make this go up to 16 blocks, which would be right here. If we then activate this, you can still see it. Further you go away. Come on. Come on. I mean, right now, it's not working at this distance, which is really weird because it's very, like, inaccurate. You can see right now it's not working. Now, I did this before and it did work, and I've done it now and it doesn't. So, still seems to be a little bit broken to me. Bamboo saplings will no longer replace double plants when placed. We have a bug report. Apparently, it's been an issue for a little bit of time. In fact, this was created back in 2020, around about the 1.17, in fact, the 1.16 versions. There's a video here from my boy Nether Ninja just showing you that if you place down your bamboo, it replaces your sunflowers. So if you now get bamboo, and you get yourself some sunflowers, and you place a bunch of these down... I'm just going to do exactly what he did as well. Just going to throw a couple of these on the floor. Forward slash game mode S real quick. If I try and replace this, uh, you can't. You can't replace this at all. It just doesn't let you replace it. So you got to break this to then 
place this. Campfires have been nerfed. Campfires do not set players and mobs on fire anymore. Campfires do not destroy minecarts and boats anymore. We have a bug report. Now, this is a Minecraft Java Edition vanilla parity, but why does everything have to follow Java? Bedrock has some pretty cool features too. Anyway, also reported back in the 1.16 version. Just to show you a comparison, I'm currently in 1.19.50, the latest version. If I stand on here, I get set on fire. The exact same with this campfire as well. Go to forward slash game mode creative and I get myself, say, a pig spawn egg and we summon this on there. They are set on fire. We're now in the latest beta and preview. If we stand on a campfire, it now just does damage to you. You don't get set on fire. I kind of like being set on fire. So this is definitely going to somewhat nerf some farms, like Iron Golem, Iron Farms. Same with this one as well. Let's go back to forward slash game mode creative and grab ourselves a pig. Again, the exact same outcome. You can see they're not on fire. They just take damage. Let me know what you think of this one, please. Enderpearl will no longer teleport a sleeping player. We got a bug report. Can teleport player while sleeping using enderpearl. So watch this. Throws enderpearl, sleeps. You're basically sleeping in the mountain. Okay, so let's try this. Bed down, enderpearl throwing. Go, 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 go to sleep real quick. Okay, so it should successfully just skip the time but it doesn't because they have cheats on but yeah it no longer works graphical changes it says players can no longer see through terrain by riding a horse mule or donkey at the edge of a two block tall space there was a bug report for this one but i couldn't publicly access it moving on to items blocks that require supporting blocks now appear properly on a map when placed on partial blocks or above air. Bug report. It's now classed as resolved. You'll see here they place blocks. They have one partially in the air. It's hard to see, but it wasn't showing on the map. It now does. Moving on to mobs. Ravages are now able to attack on various partial blocks like mud. We have a bug report. Here is the report. And there is also a very loud video, which we're going to lower down. You can see this person is... I'm teasing this Ravager. It kind of did hit them a little bit, but most of the time it doesn't. But I can confirm they will successfully attack players uh, on these blocks and probably kill me. So I'm out of here. The glow squid now emits particles when spawned outside of water. User interface fixed structure blocks UI. So the Y value field can be accessed with just the keyboard and technical updates. Let's read the change log. Only a handful of technical updates this week. If you're interested in the technical side of Minecraft, the link to the change log is below. And that is all I have for you. Very, very soon, we're hopefully going to have access to the sniffer mob. If you missed my previous video, go and check it out. But this week mainly focuses on bug fixes and a few parity changes. I'll see you all in the next video.